Brothers and sisters, comrades and friends, my word, there are a lot of you here today. And as I stand here and look at you all, I see the beautiful rainbow that is our Jersey society. I see men and women, black and white, young and old, LGBT, religious or not, all united here today to say in one united voice that we reject the racist violence perpetrated against George Floyd and too many others around the world. We stand in solidarity with the brave men and women who fight injustice in America and around the world. But most importantly, we're here to say to people in Jersey, our friends, our neighbours, our colleagues, from ethnic minorities or other nationalities, that we stand with you. We celebrate all you contribute to what makes our society so special. And we will never let you come into harm's way because of the depravity that is racial injustice. I want to thank our police chief, Robin Smith, for his statement this week where he made the commitment that we will not allow our Jersey police to descend to the behaviour of their American counterparts because they understand that it is our diversity which is our strength. I also want to thank the Chief Minister of Jersey, Senator John LaFondre, who is at a D-Day commemoration today, commemorating that uh, crucial moment in the fight against the Nazis, but who has sent his support for this demonstration today and asked me to pass on those words to you. And I want to thank the organisers of this demonstration for ensuring that it will be recorded that we in Jersey were on the right side of history on this issue. Now friends, we live in dark times whilst the world is engulfed by a deadly pandemic which brings hardship and anxiety on so many. On top of that, we also face the horror of what seems like the growing tide of racism, bigotry, Islamophobia, anti-Semitism and homophobia, often incited by cowardly politicians and their paymasters in the media and big business who exploit these divisions for their own self-interest. But we must always remember that we are many and they are few. The power is in our hands to fight for a fairer society for us all to enjoy, no matter what our background is. And even though we have plenty to be angry about, I ask you not to leave this event feeling angry, to leave it instead feeling determined and inspired. There are still injustices here we need to tackle. We still have more to do to tackle racism, sexism and homophobia here. But crucially, we must accept that our freedom from the injustices of racism and prejudice is incomplete without our freedom from economic injustice as well. The growing gap between the rich and poor must be addressed as a priority alongside these other injustices. And so I urge you to stay inspired, get involved, get organised, and while showing our solidarity with others around the world, make sure you play your part in securing a fairer society here. And I promise you on behalf of Reform Jersey that we will be alongside you every single step of the way. And I just want to close by reading um, a quote that I think sums up our, what should be our sense of optimism though we face these dark times. It's a quote from Martin Luther King Jr. who said, Let us all hope 
that the dark clouds of racial prejudice will soon pass away and that in some not too distant tomorrow, the radiant stars of love and brotherhood will shine over our great nation with all their scintillating beauty. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Solidarity. Thank you, Sam. Again, another moving speech.